Hi everyone, I'm going to continue the series of Daf Yomi on Daf Lamet Aleph today in Masechet Sota. Very interesting today. We're going to see something that Rabbi Meir learns out from a passage in Tehillim, in today's Daf, which uh, Rabbi Meir taught that at the time that the Jewish people crossed over the Red Sea, the Kriyat Yamsuf, which we learn about in our Parashat B'Shalach in the book of Shemot, of the book of Exodus, even the unborn children, the fetuses at the time, uh, were broke out into song of praise into Hashem. There was a, a glory of praise in the singing. Obviously, naturally, what the, one of the prophetic songs was being sang, as Yashir Moshe, which uh, is featured in the Parashat B'Shalach, and which we daven in the Shacharit prayers every day. So it's, it's interesting. The Gemara on the Duff today, on this page, questions how this could have happened. After all, how could they have seen the miracle that was taking place from their position inside the womb? They, they were fetuses. How, how do they know about it, one could argue? They, they, they weren't human beings. They weren't in this world. So Rabbi Tanchum actually responds to this question by saying that despite being hidden from the world, naturally they were at the time, they were in the mother's uh, womb at the time, they were able to see because their mother's stomachs became like something called Aspaclaria Hameira. This means a transparent glass, naturally in English, that was a phrase, which allowed them to look out this, uh, because they had like this transparent glass kind of property, they were able to see out through the mother's body, which is very interesting. So the term Aspaclaria has its source in Latin over here. This is what Robert Adin Steinsold says as a speculus or specula, meaning something transparent or seeing in a glass. And it's naturally from the same roots from the Shoresh as the word spectacles, naturally. We're talking about glasses, spectacles, and in Latin, it's got 